What's up everyone? It's Andy again. If you watched my last video, you know that uh, right after I got done talking about my 30 day challenge, I went out and I went surfing. So right over there, there's a whole bunch of surfers. I can't show you because they're directly in sunlight, so it's just gonna look like the sun for you. But um, the waves are really good here at San Pancho Beach in, in Mexico. And uh, the margaritas are really good too. So right after I got done uh, filming my video, I went, put my phone in my room and allowed the uh, crappy internet to take forever to upload the video to YouTube while well, I went surfing. And when I was out there, I had a couple thoughts that I thought were really interesting. I was swimming out to the waves and I noticed that, you know, there are a lot of great waves going by and I would kind of watch it and go, wow, that would have been a really great wave to surf. Uh, granted, I'm no great surfer, but, you know, it, it just the, the image of like catching that wave and surfing down it and being able to, to you know, surf in, in and out of the wave was just really enticing. But I didn't really think about it too much because I realized there's always going to be another wave coming along. I had this like thought that that is kind of similar to the affiliate marketing space. When I started affiliate marketing, I had all these instances where I watched people create uh, you know affiliate launch, and I'd watch all these other affiliates who knew what they were doing get five figures or six figures uh, from just their affiliate side during a product launch. And I was I would sit there and go, oh man, I, if only I'd you know been ready to to uh, take it take advantage of that that product and I could uh, could have created a really good offer around around that product. I could have made you know really great money off of it. And uh, you know there there have been so many times on my affiliate marketing journey where I watched a product launch go by and I watched somebody else make five figures, six figures, or you know crazy amounts of money off of off of a product launch, and um, it uh, it made me realize. There's always going to be another product launch. There's always going to be another opportunity to catch catch those big five-figure, six-figure paydays. The reason the people who are out there are getting those five-figure, six-figure paydays is because they've trained themselves, they've worked on it, they've done all the, the, the little ones, and they've actually learned all the ins and outs that they need to and developed a strategy and developed a list of people to... to to uh, put their offer in front of, and that's how they can do these five-figure, six-figure days, weeks, months, or whatever during a, during somebody else's product launch. So I thought that was pretty similar to swimming out to a wave and you know wishing you could hit every single one of them, or wishing you hit all the all, all the big ones when you really haven't even caught quite like a few small ones first. And uh, you know it's, it's interesting because if you if you watch the surfers out there, the ones who, who really know what they're doing, they they sit there and they'll wait for a while before they go and catch a wave. Sometimes but when they do, they surf that thing all the way till the end. They do all kinds of cool tricks and switchbacks and and. Uh, you know, they really make sure that, that way it counts. So the difference between like the beginner, the novice, and the and, and the expert is the beginner just kind of needs to go out there and get the experience of falling and failing, trying to catch the small waves, messing up, maybe hurting yourself. I broke my toe. Uh, last year when I was uh, beginning surfing and uh, thankfully I haven't had any major injuries this year the only thing uh, that's happened to me is I've got a rash across my stomach so 
you know, beginners have to catch the small waves and try to try to get whatever they can. The intermediates can catch a bigger wave sometimes, catch a, catch a medium ones, but maybe they can't make the, the, uh, the most out of them. They can't make out of them what the experts can. And the experts get to catch them and ride them all the way to the end. So it's really akin to the affiliate marketing product launch. Beginners, you gotta get out there, you just gotta make the mistakes. And I uh, feel like if you're like me, you're probably scared to get out there and make mistakes and, and you're wondering how much it's gonna cost you gonna hurt? Uh, am I gonna be able to breathe when this thing is is over? I mean, there've been a couple times where I got rolled in these waves, and uh, you know, I think trying to trying to do affiliate marketing, I've, I've been a couple instances where I'm just like, I don't know what the frick I'm doing, you know. So, if you're a beginner, though, so you gotta get out there. You gotta start building the list. You gotta start. Trying to create offers around around the new products, around the new launches, and expect that you're probably going to fail the first few times. You know, you're probably going to go under a little bit, and it's not going to be the most pleasant experience. But the more you do it, eventually, like today, catch up for me. I caught a couple of good waves, and it was really fun. Let me tell you, and uh, I know that. When I get a get to a product launch where I'm actually successful the first time, that's gonna be fun too. That's gonna be really fun for you too. So don't get discouraged by your first few failures. Sometimes it takes longer for some than others. Um, if you can get some coaching, I'm sure that my whole shortcut or my whole uh, uh, journey into becoming decent at surfing would have been a lot better if I had actually gotten some uh, some coaching. Okay. So, if you can get some coaching, get some coaching. Make everything a lot easier on you. Spend, spend a little money on that. Put that in your budget, you know? Uh, I, that's, that's something I always wish I'd just account for in a budget. So, that's it for today. Everyone, I hope this helps you to encourage you to go out there and try and Make, uh, make some little successes for yourself and make those little successes become big successes and then they'll just keep on rolling and rolling and rolling until you can ride the wave all the way to the end.